All right, the boys got buffed in this patch. Let's go through it, starting off with Lee. Lee didn't really need much, but holy shit. While standing 2-3 into Heat Burst, his best while standing punish, and it was inconsistent. But finally, it has been fixed, and Jens down 2 can get fucked by these marvelous combos. And now, wave dashing his way in at 200 something, the main man himself. Wait, hold on, that's the wrong Mishima. Anyway, Kazuya finally got some buffs and some nerfs as well. Uh, his Heat Smash got a slight damage nerf. Demon Paw got a slight pushback nerf as well, it's pretty hard to notice. Next is Heat 1 plus 4, the Devil Roar. The Shikue, this move. It was really bad, it was awful. It used half your heat gauge every time you used it. But now it costs less to use. Finally, it costs like a third. It's also a move that I was messing around with for combos before I heard Kazuya was getting a buff. And now that it uses less heat energy every time you use the move, it might actually be viable in some combos, we'll have to see. Also, we can now do Devil Roar as a wild standing move, which can give us a fancy looking combo when you do counter hit down, four, uh, down 1 plus 2. Uh, but damage wise, it doesn't really seem much different from just a normal combo. At least, not yet. Maybe there's an optimal combo. And unfortunately, even though we have Devil Roar as a well standing move, we can't wave dash into the move the same way we uh, wave dash cancel into all of our other while standing moves, which kind of sucks. Down forward 1-4, it got a buff and a nerf. On hit, it would ballerina spin for plus 18 for an instant 50-50. Now on hit, it knocks down for a guaranteed steel pedal, a stomp, or a demon scissors. Now when I saw that, I thought, holy shit, this move is gonna give a floor blast, but unfortunately, it does not. And it's also minus 11 on block now, which sucks. Down forward one also finally got fixed for combos and it won't whiff randomly anymore. So three electrics into a bound is still difficult to do, but a bit more consistent now and now you'll only get fucked over by a wall. Down forward three, two, one and the charged version finally got fixed. I don't know why they messed with this move in the first place, but now we can finally use it in combos again. Back 2-2, two, two, 1 plus 2 got buffed for combos now as well. Back 2 got a hitbox buff. The second hit recovers one frame faster, which means you can connect the down forward one a bit easier. And the laser now recovers 8 frames faster, meaning it's, it's an actual wall carry option now that we can follow up from. Forward forward 2, the demon paw can now be cancelled in heat so you don't go into the follow-up animation automatically anymore, which means we can use it to wall splat and wall break again. 
CD1 and CD3 got buffed as well. CD3 couldn't be cancelled before, but now we can. And CD1 was just a dumb fucking move in Heat. This move in Heat, when you cancel the Heaven's Gate follow-up, it would still take your Heat Gauge. But you were gaining nothing from that. It was just so stupid. But now CD1 and CD3 will only take the heat, I think forward forward 2 as well, only if you do the follow-up animations. CD3 also does 5 more damage now and recovers faster on block. Being able to cancel out of the CD3 follow-up also does open up some new combos as well. Might not be super optimal, but we'll figure things out. But CD411, the busted hell sweep, still uses your heat gauge if you cancel Heaven's Gate. Uh, because it would be a bit too strong if it didn't. CD44. It's still kinda useless, honestly. CD1 plus 2, Patricide Fist, the coolest useless move. Uh, its damage went from 25 to, to 33. It went from minus 6 on block to now being plus 5 on block, which is kind of nice, I guess, but you can't really do much. But it doesn't launch on counter hit anymore, which sucks, because the move is mostly useless outside of combos, even with the damage and frame buffs, and it gave a decently damaging combo as well. But this dumb fucking move still conflicts with the Rage Art input. It is so stupid. There's so many times where I was trying to do Patricide Fist and got a Rage Art. It's dumb. But overall, I'm kind of really happy with the buffs Kazuya got. It was unexpected, but really needed, especially a decent 15 frame Punisher. And as much as I want to talk about some other stuff that he could have gotten, I'd rather just be happy with the buffs he got this time. Anyway, if you liked, leave a like, dislike if you didn't. My god, there's so much in this patch. I don't think I want to do another video.